thought you were picking up fruit. We took it to the park, met Melanie. They went to Bruises for a snack. Oh, was right. well, the pair of you here? We got something we want to talk to you about. Oh? It's a proposal for the family, actually. I don't know if that word means anything to you. <laughs> here we go. Let's take a seat. That would. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, so Oisin's going to be here for a while, and chances are you're going to be caught up in that building project. So where's, where's all this leading? We're getting there, all right? You could do with some time off to concentrate on other things. What other things? A holiday? Get rid of some of your stress? Oh, wait. And are you going to pay for it, are you? Huh? Get to the point. We can help by running Pinos. Well, isn't that very thoughtful of the pair? We're being serious, but it's a business arrangement. Okay. I'm sure we could uh, throw you a few shifts, you know. Minimum wage, of course. <sighs> no, thanks. We don't want scraps. Why? I've got lots of other staff who appreciate everything I do for them, so... You don't have to be so hands-on. We can run the place. Manage it, you mean? No. We want shares. Excuse me? Look, we want to step up and help you out. That's not what he just said. Before I left for London, you were going to give it to us, remember? Yeah, well... How delusional was I, huh? Right, can we not turn this into a slag match? We're talking a third each. You do nothing, just take profit. Why don't you just think about it? I just did. And the answer is still no. Don't tell me. Was this your idea, was it? You'd even listen to some of the ideas we have. Ah, things must be pretty rough off in London for you to come begging to me, huh? We came here in good faith. I mean, would you look at the pair, yeah? You want everything handed to you on a plate. <laughs> you haven't even got a backbone between you. This is pointless. I'm sorry. But you want me to hand over a thriving business to a pair of wasters like you and watch you running into the ground? You get such a kick out of calling us failures. Well, what have you got to show for yourself, huh? Well, exactly. Nothing. You won't do anything because in the back of your mind you're always saying, Daddy would bail me out. You were never my dad. Now, would you come to me with your begging bowl for then, huh? We were trying to make an effort. For Ruth's sake. Ruth will be fine. Give her a couple of years. She'll hate you just as much as yeah, me. Yeah, well, you keep away from her. We're going. Don't want anything from you. Okay, I'll tell you what. You want to cut all toys, that's fine with me. Because as I'm from tomorrow, I'm taking the two of you out of my will, huh? Yeah, you're on your own, kids. How does that sound now, huh? <laughs> trying to do is find a way out of these endless arguments we have with you. Well, by fleecing me. Nice try, son. But their safety net is gone now. We're trying to find a way so Ruth can have a father who wasn't working all the time. It doesn't matter what we say. He thinks he's found a new stick to beat us with. Look, this could be the best thing that ever happened to you. Think of it as a gift. Never wanted your money. Ah, but he does. And I know damn well this is all your idea. Moving back from London with your hand out. It's like you've got some kind of mental disorder. I'm out of here. What a pathetic, miserable old get you. And on. don't you even think about moving back in here. Don't want you anywhere near my house. I already told Ruth I'm moving in. Well, then you'd better make your excuses. Because she is used to you disappointing her anyway, isn't she? 